what is going on my fellow nerds yes it is that time of year merry christmas happy new years and that means ces is right around the corner i want to thank you for joining me for this video once again and you know the routine i go over what i'm expecting from the big boys at ces this year all right in this video we're going to cover oneplus and we're going to cover some other trends, what I'm expecting from CES, some things like AK, 5G, and foldable phones. First off, let's kick things off with OnePlus. All right, so OnePlus is expected to unveil a mystery device called the OnePlus Concept One. Now, there are people speculating that what could this mean? Um, it could. Some people are saying it could be a holographic phone, could have no buttons or no kind of connections or whatever. I don't know, but according to the picture that um, you're seeing on your screen right here, if you look at the silhouette of the phone, it looks like there still will be physical buttons, it's like a power button on the right hand side and then a volume rocker on the left. So I don't expect it to be, you know, buttonless or anything. So I would expect that. What could it be? I have no idea what the concept would be, but judging by the name, um, it's a concept not sure if this will ever come to market or if it does how limited it will be So we will see what you know oneplus has up their sleeve All right, uh, oneplus is also expected to release a true pair of wireless earbuds now they have uh, wireless earbuds in the past, but they have the wires around your neck So I'm expecting them to jump into that space uh, considering that that space is very you know, popular with Amazon Echo Buds, you got Microsoft earbuds, you got Samsung, obviously, and Apple in that space. So I expect OnePlus to jump into that with some kind of entry. Um, possibly we will be we will see a OnePlus 8 Lite to hit that mid-range mobile market. Um, they've already released the One Eight Plus, the One Eight, the OnePlus 8 already. So I'm expecting the light version of that. Also, um, a couple months ago, I did a report on the OnePlus TV, um, but that did not have a US date. So I'm hoping and expecting that they release some US information about this. So if you remember, this is a TV that has a, a sound bar that actually rolls out of the TV and uh, comes up and down out of the TV. So I'm hoping that they will give us some US information about this. All right, so that's all I have for OnePlus. Moving on, these are some other trends of what I'm expecting to see at CES. AK, obviously we're going to see a ton of AK TVs, and here's the reason why we're going to see a lot of AK. In 2020, the Japanese broadcast company, a Japanese broadcast company, will be um, broadcasting the Olympics in AK. So I expect all the manufacturers to have something ready or something in the market that will take advantage of all the early adopters who want to watch the Olympics in AK. So it would make sense for, you know, LG, Sony, TCL, Hisense, and Sharp to be in that AK market to try to get something out there. And the more TVs they put out there, that's to push down the price of AK to make it more affordable for people to jump into that market. So again, because the, the Olympics are going to be broadcast in Japan in AK, I expect uh, some manufacturers to be you know, jumping into that um, head first to try to get more TVs out there. Also, obviously 5G. 5G is, is the craze right right now in the mobile world. So we're gonna probably be hearing a lot of 5G from um, a lot of the cell phone manufacturers. Obviously Qualcomm will do a lot with 5G. So I expect to see a lot from that. Um, Huawei also will be, you know, getting their um, 5G stuff out there as well. And also, this one, at first, a couple months ago, I, I was really thinking this was gonna be very big at CES, but foldable phones, I've tempered it down just a little bit. I'm not sure how many um, manufacturers will have some type of foldable phone at CES. I do expect a few, so, um, but yeah, I am looking forward to see what else is out there, considering that we've had you know, two uh, big ones that dropped this year already. Um, the Galaxy Fold and the Huawei Mate X. So those. So I'm expecting to see a, a few more affordable phones on the floor this year. All right, folks. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you stay tuned to Sounds Nerdy for all your CES coverage. We will be live in Vegas. Make sure you follow us on all our social media. And until the next video, guys, stay nerdy. <laughs>